I'm Hope Bagazi, Director of Marketing for McDonald's Canada. And I'm here with a question from Isabel M. from Toronto, Ontario. She asks, why does your food look different in the advertising than what's in the store? It's a great question, Isabel. We get asked that a lot. And if you want to come with me, I'm going to take you across the street. We're going to find out a bit more. Come on. Hello, could I please order our quarter pounder with cheese? Thank you, thank you so much. So here is my hot and fresh quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, that looks good. Look at this beauty. Put this one back in the box. I'm gonna go over to our photo studio and see a little bit more about behind the scenes what happens at a photo shoot. So we're en route now to Watt Photo Studios. Watt has been our agency doing all of our merchandising creative for probably about seven years. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to put the burger that you saw me just buy. We're going to put it side by side um, next to a burger that we're actually going to craft from scratch uh, with our food stylist and our photographer. And we're going to compare what's different about the two. I've just bought this quarter pounder with cheese. It's as hot off the press as it can be. Good. So maybe we just put that in, get a photo of it, so we'll we can use it. that uh, for comparison. So we'll keep the camera, the lights, and everything the same. It'll be a direct comparison of the right side of both burgers. Perfect. Okay. That makes total sense. What I'm going to do is introduce you now to Noah, who's our food stylist. Well, that burger was made in about a minute or so. The process we go through on the average shoot takes several hours. And here I think it's important to note that all the ingredients that Noah uses are the exact same ingredients that we use in the restaurant. So it's the exact same patties, it's the exact same ketchup and mustard and onions and the exact same buns. Almost ready for you, Neil. We want to be able to show the pickles and the mm -hmm. condiments as we build. Right. In the store, they would naturally just line it up straight in, in right. line. Yep. We have to bring it back a little bit to reveal the fact that coming. there's it comes with the pickles and the right. slivered onions. Because we're in a one-dimensional world mm -hmm. in the camera, everything is in the back in the picture. I don't know what's actually in it. Right. This way we can at least tell people, you have ketchup, you have mustard, you have two pieces of cheese, and you know what you're getting. Perfect onion selection. It's like you're a surgeon in there. It's because we've level. had to put things forward, the bun is sitting crooked. So he's just compensating. So if I'm just melting down the cheese with my palette knife, maybe I'll put mustard, ketchup, actually ketchup, mustard, ketchup. You ready? Yeah. Oh, That's nice. beautiful. This burger looks pretty good as is. I don't think it's going to need much retouching whatsoever. Let me introduce you to Stuart Murray. He's going to take the side-by-side -side comparison and do a little finessing of the product. Less amount of retouching that we do to something, the less perfect it looks, but actually it looks more appetizing and more convincing. But just enhancing some color, taking out some of the little accents that might happen in preparation, which obviously doesn't show the product in its best possible light. Here you can definitely see that there's a size difference. The box that our sandwiches come in, keep the sandwiches warm, which creates a bit of a steam effect. And it does make the bun contract a little bit. And then the main difference is the fact that we actually took all the ingredients that are normally hidden under the bun and we pulled them to the foreground so that you can see them. And those are the main differences. So, Isabel, thank you so much for your question. We hope that's answered it for you. Thanks.